64th Street, a detective story, is an arcade beat-em-up game developed by Jellico in 1991. It comes to the Evercade alongside other Jellico games in the Jellico Arcade 1 cartridge. The game opens to a story sequence. In Detective Rick's office, a father is requesting the detective's help to find and rescue his kidnapped daughter. After passionately consuming his 12th pork pie and putting on his deflated football for a hat, Rick dives headfirst out of his office, faced first onto the streets. He looks up towards the clear blue sky and says through gritted teeth, I'm prepared to murder hundreds, if not thousands of men to save this kidnapped girl. And so it immediately begins, a tireless, uninterrupted ballet of punching and kicking, kicking and punching until a clue somehow presents itself. Should Rick have started with inquiries and research? No. That's not the way. It's not the way of Rick. The old way. The way his good old dad taught him. His dad might have been involved in that incident at the zoo, but he was okay once you got to know him. It's not about questions or strategy. It's not about planning or patience. It's harnessing the power of uncontrollable rage which lies deep within every detective. Violence leads to clues. Clues lead to violence. The perfect circle. Un nous de colère improbable, as it was called back in the day. Watch how Rick interrogates this suspect. He begins by asking absolutely no questions, but then finishes by repeatedly introducing industrial lead piping to their face. I suspect this method is a little less on paperwork for Rick. Eventually, Rick encounters this purple leather clad individual donning a cartoon mallet. He can only communicate by honking a tiny bicycle horn, so Rick is forced to ask questions using his fists. Rick can take a comically large mallet to the face over and over and over again. It's okay, Rick lost all sensation in his face years ago when he tried to play apple bobbing in a fire pit. Eventually, Rick bests his fashionable opponent. Should Rick check the body for clues? No. That's not the way. It's not the way of Rick. The old way. The way his good old dad taught him. His dad may have done questionable things for questionable people, but he was okay once you got to know him. It's not about research or reasoning. It's not about paperwork and accountability. It's harnessing the power of unfathomable rage, which lies deep within every detective. Later in the game, Rick constructs a makeshift vehicle out of Flotsam and Jetsam and goes on a rampage to find more pork pies. An entirely genuine captain looks to put an end to Rick's investigation, air quotes. The captain is harnessed to the dark art of whimsical, carefree twirling, and let me tell you, Rick's just about had enough of that silly nonsense. The absolutely legitimate captain's frivolities are brought to an abrupt end by Rick's mighty boot. Should Rick search the ship for clues? No. That's not the way. It's not the way of Rick. The old way. The way his good old dad taught him before the accident. His dad may have been entirely responsible for global warming, but he was okay once you got to know him. Rick's unique ability is to throw people into the backdrop of each stage, shattering windows, breaking down doors, and crashing through brickwork. What is he investigating again? I don't think I don't think Rick remembers anymore. Something about something about a stolen bike. Like all good games, you find yourself fighting a robot. The last of which you'll fight inside a blimp, alongside this leaping idiot with a snooker cue, who turns out to be the final boss. As Rick kicks his final opponent into the spinning blades of the blimp's propulsion system, he frees the stolen girl and insists on piloting everyone back home. Of course, with no prior knowledge to flight navigation or blimp controls, things didn't end so well. Only Rick survived. 64th Street, a detective story, would have been a middle of the road, 50 out of 100. But when you factor in Rick, it becomes near perfection. 99 out of 100. If you would like me to look at other Evercade games, do please leave a request in the comments. Goodbye.